we're at the Pass of Balata, just below the Great Flake Climb. And it's beautiful granite for climbing on, but just down here, there's this pod of pegmatite. So rather than in the normal granite where the crystals are maybe five millimeters or so, the crystals here get up to three or four centimeters, really, really large. So the question is, why is this little bit here got such big crystals? You know, it didn't cool any slower than this, you know, because it's in the granite. And the answer is in the composition of the magma. So this granite formed in the lower crust and it formed by uh, dehydration melting. So the amphibolite that was the lower crustal metamorphic rocks, as it heated up, it lost water and the wet melting curve of continental rocks is lower than the dry melting curve. So as it lost the water, it melted. So the granite that was produced was very rich in water. As it crystallizes, that water comes out and it makes an immiscible fluid. And the water, these bubbles of water, have much lower viscosity than the granite magma around them. So you can grow much larger crystals. The materials that are, growing, that are forming the crystals can diffuse into the growing surface much more quickly. So you get much, much bigger crystals. So this is what's called a druzy cavity of pegmatite, which was formed from an immiscible fluid that exolved from the granite as it crystallized.